Hello everyone. Well, um, so I apologize for the mock-up on the conference table, but I didn't want to drag out the big TOS ship to, to do this because we're saving that for another video for the motor effect. Uh, we've, um, in, uh, in lieu of the 50th anniversary version, um, I took a look at the video. We've been so busy this past year with other things that I went back and reviewed it. And what I've done is I've taken our... Um, standard TOS kit for the 1350 which has been out for man I don't know four years now anyway I remastered it I'm going to show you at least point to a few things here um, this is the control board that does uh, you know the navs the strobe and the impulse engine and I haven't I, it also does the um, the uh, the lighting of the um, shuttle bay area as well that's not hooked up and that's the um, one of the round boards uh, for the TOS uh, it's the LED effect now it's set up at the faster speed and I don't have a dome on it because I wanted to show you uh, the effect without the dome because the way I frosted the dome or in this case uh, scuffed it if you will with a fine sandpaper it really diffuses and broadcasts the light so much but anyway um, to give it more of a uh, pronounced effect you see these blue LEDs and the green LEDs, they've always been there. They just uh, turned on and off such a fast rate that sometimes you didn't see it. It got overpowered by the yellow and the orange lights. So that is at uh, the fastest speed. And with this board, we set up a positive effect and a negative effect. Um, and you can review my other video in the ship, but basically where and this isn't set up in the positive effect because there's a jumper and the figure it's easier for you guys to cut a jumper than install a jumper on one of these boards. So uh, <clears throat> all the LEDs are on and we shut them off as they rotate, uh, you know, the perimeter ones, not the twinkle ones. And um, in the negative effect, they're always off and we turn them on. So anyway, a lot of people like this effect because it mimics the blade better. Or, some people like it like that. I'm going to change the speed. Okay, that's down one, one click. There's another one. And the last. Okay. And then if you hit it again, it goes back to fast. So I really think this looks really nice now, especially when you see it uh, in person with the dome on. And I'll be back in a minute uh, with the dome on it and we'll show you that part. Okay, um, well there you have it. We, I put the dome on it. Uh, it's still set at the fastest speed. Now, in person, it looks awesome. I know the camera and the ceiling lights, especially these fluorescent, are washing it out. Uh, but um, I'm going to change the speed on it. We're down one. And we're down one again. And one more. Now you can see on the table, you can really see the green effect and the blue effect uh, reflecting off the table. Uh, especially uh, the greens uh, and the blues there. It's, it's pretty neat. And um, we'll come back in a second with um, in the dark and see what it looks like in the dark. And we're back. It's uh, basically turned off the lights uh, in the conference room here. They're, they're all dark and you can see the effect uh, again in person. It looks awesome. Might be a little bit washed out in the, with the camera. Yeah, I'll change the speed again. That was, by the way, the when you first saw it, it was in fast mode. That's that's second speed. That's the third, and that's the the last, the fourth. Now you, um, you guys probably, if uh, you caught it, if you looked at our previous videos, um, you've seen it. I've changed the timing of the nabs, the ones on the left there, the white, the green, and the red. Uh, we set this up just for the, the way it, it was set up at the Smithsonian, the 50th anniversary ship. It's got basically two seconds on time and about, uh, 
uh, about two tenths of us actually excuse me a half a second close to a half a second when we looked at all the we set this up digitally in the oscilloscope in the lab so two seconds on half second off it pretty much you know without splitting hairs i took a look at the video at the smithsonian and i think we got it spot on and of course the uh the impulse engines are there um, that hasn't changed uh, as well so i think we've done a pretty good job with this uh, accentuating more of the different colors that are there on the bassard and a pretty good representative effect of um, the, the fan blade with leds